If you are an internet marketer with clients, rather than marketing your own stuff, then you'll have another tricky thing you need to manage. The clients. Because in many ways, having a client is just like having a boss, and that means you have the same commitments and the same requirement to follow instructions and work to somebody else's timescale. At the same time, though, a client doesn't come with a contract, meaning that they could stop offering you new work at any time. And this creates a difficult situation where you need all the clients you have just in case one stops working with you. At the same time, though, you need to be available when they need you, meaning there will inevitably be times when they supply you with too much work and you end up breaking your back to try and get it all finished. The question is how exactly do you deal with this? Another issue is the difficult client, and sometimes you'll get clients who expect too much from you, and you'll find some clients constantly have problems with your work. Sometimes they'll simply be rude. This can make life very stressful, so again, you have to find a way to deal with that problem. The first thing you need to do is to learn how to deal with those difficult clients and thereby make your life easier. The key here is to have the strength to turn down work. This is something that can be very hard to do, and especially if you're an anxious personality type. But it's also very important in order to prevent yourself doing unlimited amounts of work. So, what kinds of clients do you turn down? Well, one is the type of client who is making your life hellish. If you keep having to make changes to work that is perfectly acceptable, or if you're dealing with rude emails or unreasonable expectations, then you're better off dropping those clients. This is important, in fact, as you will ultimately be spending more time on that kind of work while getting less done. Instead, focus on clients that keep things simple for you as that way, you can complete more and maybe do more for them. Work for the clients that deserve your work. This changes the whole mentality too. When you're willing to refuse work, you remember that you don't have a boss. You're working together because you have mutual aims and complementary skills and resources. If a job is too big or you don't like the way it's being carried out, then be ready to say, no, thank you. Always be polite, though. No matter how rude or unreasonable the client is, being rude back is unprofessional and it will burn your bridges in case you ever need future work. The other kind of client to remove from your workload is the kind that only ever makes very small orders but involves a lot of communication to get them. I have a rule that any client that wants a Skype meeting is probably someone who enjoys playing business rather than someone who is genuinely a good business partner. Keep communication down and productivity up. Do this by seeking out good clients who have a good working style and by keeping your client roster lean. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.